And as I drove by many like supermarkets and stores, the parking lots are so full. And if they're going to get the essentials, wouldn't you think that every church parking lot would be filled to capacity, getting the essentials? Isn't the word of God essential yes. for your life and for my life? Yes. Isn't it really important for you and I? Yes. Amen? Amen? Hallelujah. Hebrews 10.25 says, And let us not neglect our meeting together, as some people do, but encourage one another especially now that the day of his return is drawing near. Amplified says, not forsaking or neglecting to assemble together. <clears throat> not forsaking or neglecting to assemble together. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God wants us to be together. God wants us to come together. Isn't it a blessing to, to come in here and see the worship team just leading us in worship to the Lord? I mean, such a blessing seeing, you know, Matt and, and, and those who are up here, you know, and, and Izzy and, and Jordan and Kyle and, you know, I mean, just, 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 it just blesses me. It blesses me. God knows it blesses us. He doesn't want us to forsake this. I'll tell you, there is that one that does. And that's the enemy. And you know how he tries to do it? He'll do anything he can to get you to forsake it. And the spirit of fear is one of the ways that he tries to get people to forsake assembling together for the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you for your courage. Thank you for your faith. Amen? Amen? Go to Romans chapter 8, verse 15 now, please. Hallelujah. Romans chapter 8. Say, bless the Lord, bless the Lord. O, my soul, o my soul, and all that's within me. Bless his holy name. Bless his holy name. Amen. I don't know what, I mean, I guess it's just the Lord, but for some reason that just comes out of my spirit often. Amen. Just throughout the week, I just say, bless the Lord, oh my soul, and all that's within me, I bless your holy name. Mm. Praise God. Okay, Romans chapter 8 verse 15 says, for ye have not been given, or excuse me, for ye have not received the spirit of bondage again to fear but have received the spirit of adoption, whereby we cry, Abba, Father. The New Living says, so you have not received the spirit that makes you fearful slaves. Instead, you received God's spirit when he adopted you as his own children. Now we call him Abba, Father. So you have not received the spirit of bondage again to fear. Say, I, I have not received... The spirit of bondage, spirit of bondage. Again, to fear. again to fear. Now I'll go to Hebrews chapter 2, verse 14. Hebrews 2, 14. I'll read this in the King James translation. Praise the Lord. We are told to fear not. Fear not. Fear is not our motivator. Fear is not our decision maker. Amen. Well, you know, if I don't take this opportunity now, let, let, me, let me say something to you. If you're, well, let me just tell you an example, a real example. 